can I just use a few moments with you and just to right here today because we have this opportunity and uh, in in the constant presence of the supreme to just leave aside all all our ideas the ones that we are willingly engaged with and the ones that seem to just be hanging around when i say leave them i mean i don't be concerned about them like just be empty no? and at this moment it should be particularly easy for you don't be holding on to don't turn to look backwards at what is gone because it really is gone except for our habit of revisiting what is past so leave leave these things and as i say in the invitation also don't be concerned about future there's no need at all to be too concerned about future is based upon fear and i'm not calling you right now towards any fear and simply be empty because you can first and that uh, i want you with me to again to to really confirm not because anybody else has but because you will be totally empty of all ideas about and desires about the world and yourself and you know what you hope to to get from your time here or who you want to be and all of these things uh, even uh, the, even the the sense of you know awakening and your self realization and whatever that may appear to be in your own mind just leave everything alone for a moment just leave everything and any anticipation or um, expectation such as okay okay yes i've done that what's what what now you know no 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 expectations no next simply just be where you are just be empty 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 the last seed that should be left in you is just the feeling of i That was the first seed of not knowingness that appeared. But whatever appear, even the most simple thing, it must appear in something that was already here. So I said, even before the first seed appears of knowingness, the sense I, yes. This one, yeah, this is the first knowing. Everything else is subsequent to it. So when I say empty, empty of everything, 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 and now maybe even just the sense of I, the the vibration of knowingness, that seed of existence that we feel, I exist. Uh, even this uh, don't hold it don't hold it and those of you who trust you will come with me so even the feeling of i uh, just don't hold don't claim anything so that there remains only that in which the i itself appear don't hold body and uh, memories and mind and so on let these functions uh, be where they need to be right now but you are unmolested by them uh, you don't take any shape at all remain shapeless like space in fact you don't have to imagine that because when you're not holding or clinging to any thoughts or desires or judgments 
there is this inner spaciousness. I would dare say it is not limited to even the sense of inner. It does not know inner or outer. It is everywhere, this silence, this spaciousness. A kind of nothingness. And although the mind may be present and trying to give nothingness a kind of shape of nothingness, it is not necessary. If I say that everything can be taken out and you comply and allow uh, whatever is here to not embrace any thought or imagination or any concept at all, you will find that something remains that cannot be moved. It cannot be taken out. It cannot be added. It is just here. And it is self-aware. It is not too. It is as though you are asked to take all the numbers away, all the letters away. Now there is only nothing, only zero, beyond even the concept of zero. It is very important that I ask you to do this, so that you can experience that you can be empty, your own emptiness. It is not something that you are creating, you are only discovering. This place called emptiness, we can use other words for it, but actually none of the words fit. Whatever it is that is here, is not even called emptiness. And I have asked you to come here, that I can ask and check in with you about you. I have asked you to leave everything, the usual activities and habits of the mind, the beliefs and the identifications, like leave them aside. I have not asked you to destroy them, but just not to engage. And you see how easily it is to simply be here. What is this here? This hereness. Is it about being in any particular country? No. What is here? What are you perceiving? Hmm? Is it an object? Be fresh with this for me now. Only answer from your heart. What is here? Um, can it be defined in any way at all? No. Does it have a form? Is it light or darkness? Is it an emotion? Is it a feeling, like a very nice feeling? Can it be described as that? Can it be described as being outside? Yes. 
please be with me. Because I don't think you are going to make a greater discovery than you are going to make today. Unless you are afraid, then uh, you can say, OK, you know, you, you're out of it. What did I ask you just now? Is it a what? Is it outside? Is it inside? Just watch how the questions come. Is it a belief? Is it a particular religion? Is it a function? I'm asking each and everyone here this question. What is it that's here? Did it arrive? Can it leave? No, no it cannot leave. And an important question I will ask also now. Can it fade away? Can it be hidden? Again, can it be hidden? No. no. It can be hidden. It can be hidden to itself. That's again. Right now, I'm asking you. If you say it can be hidden, you are speaking about the quality of mind. That in which these questions are heard, is it outside or apart from this? No. Can the mind exist outside of this? Whatever it is that you are aware of, can it become sick, confused, depressed? Are you sure you are not imagining it? Was it created? No. Do you feel you have the capacity to answer this question? Yes. Then can it die? No. How do you know these things? Who taught you? Can it be lost? Can it reject anyone? Does it know anyone? Can it be possessed? No. 
Can it be dissolved? No. Okay. What you are aware of, where are where is it being seen? How how far from you is it? From the place, from that which perceive. How, how far is it looking to, to, to look into these things? There is no distance. Can you stand by your word? Yes. <laughs> Always? Yes. Then if this is so, you have never studied this. You never studied this. You did not borrow this knowledge from somewhere. You confirmed out of your own self and source. It cannot die, it was not created, it cannot fade, it is unbound, it cannot be possessed, it cannot be lost, it is without mood, it was not born, it cannot die. And it is no distance. Can it change? So if these are things that you can confirm, without even thinking such about it, then it must be that you are speaking about yourself. Is it still true? Is it arrogant to think like this, to know this thing, to express these things? Is it the truth for some people and not for others? Then today you are confirmed in the truth. And I love that I can share with you in this way that it's not the product of some university knowledge. That anybody even if you come from some poor place, you have never studied in any school or nothing like that, can confirm this. Why? Why? Because these are the things of God. And you can only know this from being in the place, not of your person, but of yourself. And yes, your mind will come. He has been called the doubter. He will come to raise doubt in your mind. Yeah, but you know, today I'm not feeling like that. You know, it's not. He said you were strong yesterday, but today. And I said, oh, but you said that it cannot change. Yeah, but I'm not in the same mood. So is it a mood? No. no. Thank you. So that you, out of your own being, can confirm that authority you have. Did you speculate? No. Did you imagine?
then great is this moment on earth that human beings can look and experience without hypnosis. I have not thrown magic powder in your face. From your own heart, you can look and confirm things which are largely regarded as unknowable to the human mind. Now what remains is to honour this seeing. And how to honour what you have already declared that, but it is true, it is already what it is. How to honour it means what? That your mind will come to test. And the way it will come to test is to try and remind you you are a person, because when you are in, your, when you're in the state of your person, you cannot confirm anything. You will feel doubtful, you will feel tired, you will feel, No, I am not ready, could you let me, give me some time to get into meditation, and I can answer your question, and so on. It will come. And regard its coming as a timely offering from the Lord Himself, because we each have to be Tested. And you are not tested to fail, you are tested uh, so that you can confirm the greatness and the glory of God in you. You can confirm that you cannot be lost, you can never be lost. But your person, hmm, anyway, we are changing our personalities like our clothing. We keep changing our descriptions about ourselves, but can this change? Thank you. That is it. Then may your heart always remind itself of its sublime perfection. And though the forces of delusion will try to pull you into some shape. Know that you are ready beyond that. You are shapeless with shape. You are timeless with time. You are the formless in form. You are the all-knowing learning about itself. You are the imperishable, appearing in a perishable body. I live for you, you only. I live for you, you only. Only you, Lord, you only. Only 